Imagine your boy CP with dope slangers. I'm talking big boy TVs with coat hangers. We so bangers. Show strangers who real flex. Just know the skill next. If you feel best, my skill set so real threat that coincide. With green, your free flow, we going loud. We flowing by and spit straight. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy, Trap New York shit, NoMercyTV.com. I know what time it is, man. Um, man. <clears throat> man, man, man. You know, y'all would be surprised, right, how much I don't say because I know how sensitive battle rap can be sometimes. And yeah, there's times y'all see me Addressing what needs to be addressed, but there's also a lot of things that Just like yo like, you know, cuz my, my thing is this man. I don't be for the battle rap drama really, you know, um Niggas in this shit is just soft man. You feel me like and when I say soft, I mean like niggas is feminine Niggas is emotional niggas can't take Really being spoke to like on some man shit you understand what I'm saying? So it's like every time you, you say something, you know, people try to flag you as emotional. Or, but it's just like, yo, man, we got to start keeping it 100 with niggas in this culture because it's like some of the stuff that goes on do not need to go on. You understand? And certain niggas is just like repeat offenders of just bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Hip hop is real. Let's talk about it, man. Y'all niggas have been on some Vlad TV clout chasing, clickbaiting shit for a while now. Like, what is up with you niggas, man? Like, no, what is up with you niggas? Like, what's the problem, yo? You understand now? Y'all seen um y'all all by now seen the blog on hip hop is real with uh you know and Juan Chess going back and forth. The reader and be magic thing. I'm not that's not I'm not speaking on that. Like that's that's crazy. You understand me? But my thing is this, man. Whatever go on in them two in they home, that's that's them. You understand me? Like you can't tell no man or female how to, you know, move in their relationship, whatever they do, whatever they condone, that is completely up to them. You understand? We could always sit up here and say, you know, what we feel is out of pocket or whatever. At the end of the day, that's on them two to deal with. You feel me? But that's not even my biggest issue because I like to touch issues at the core. I like to touch issues at the root. You understand? Like, if that footage doesn't get put out, you don't get all of the crazy shit that's going on right now. And when I say about the, the footage not coming out, I watched the blog that Anwar did speaking on it. He hit knowledge asking niggas not to put that footage out. Why does it come out? Why? Like, for the life of me, why does that footage come out? You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, even at this point, it's like even if the shit goes down, the damage is done. Niggas done screen recorded it. Niggas done downloaded it. Like, you may think footage, um, you know, leaves the internet. It really don't. You understand? Like, no matter what's uploaded, it, it's always going to be retrieved somehow, especially something like this that goes viral. You understand? Or battle rap viral, you know. Um, But battle rap viral is still sufficient because once something becomes a topic, especially about, you know, some, some footage that get put out, you know how battle rap works. Niggas are going to record that shit. You understand? Niggas are going to make sure they have it on deck. Battle rappers are going to have bars about it, like... It just becomes a, a eternal cycle. Like, it's, it's just always going to be... Like, JC dancing is always going to be a bar. Like, you understand? Like, it just is what it is. So, when Anwar did the blog on it, he's speaking on how he hit knowledge and he asked them not to put the footage out. It shouldn't have came out. And I say this because it's like... Hip-hop is real has a track record for this kind of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, niggas really got a track record for this kind of shit. And I'm, I'm going to speak on the main ones that caught my attention because I know there's a whole bunch of other situations that 
you know, I, I didn't had conversations with and, you know, certain stuff that they wasn't feeling. But I'm going to speak on the ones that's just prevalent to me. You feel me? One of them is the Debo situation. You know, um, I forgot uh, what exactly the issue is, but or exactly what the issue was. But it turned to Debo having you pull up to where he was at. Sit you down in whatever chicken spot or wherever he was at and have you apologize on camera for basically perpetrating a narrative that shouldn't have been, you know, put out there. Like, you understand? Like, it's, it's you, you, you got that. You got, uh, all right. These, these next couple things is, is just going to be, you know, it, it's going to be around me. It's going to be around the track. Um, a, a headline on a blog talking about, oh, the, the trap is dead. Like, the type of platform you have, when you put stuff out there like that on a headline, like, that's that tells people something. You understand that helps contribute to a narrative that either is false or that just shouldn't be promoted. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we had to get on camera and correct that. You understand? Another thing that happened, shout out my bro Peso. When Peso, when y'all caught, when when the whole uh, us versus the, the, the battlers that we was going up against, you know, the people we had issue with at the time. When y'all reached out to Peso for an interview, he spoke on his side of a situation that he was asked about but then y'all put out an interview with somebody else before y'all put his interview out and then y'all made it seem like his interview was responding to what was being said and that wasn't the case again clickbaiting and painting a narrative that shouldn't have been painted And since then, there's been a ton of more issues and, and just inconsistent stuff that I'm just like, yo, what, what type of media are y'all niggas? Like, are y'all trying to actually be media? Like, what, what are y'all trying to do? Like, it, even when I see certain stuff like, um, I forgot what battle it was that Chess had, right? And you know, Chess is a regular on hip-hop is real. And this ain't no, no knock to Chess. I'm a huge Chess fan. Chess definitely did the trap a huge favor. You know, when he did the Jay Dennis battle, so it's all love. But my thing is this. Y'all support Chess. Y'all are behind him. Cool. It's no issue. But when he gets in a battle and he chokes and you niggas got the nerve to tweet, oh, the fans, that's the fans' fault. They were just waiting on him to mess up. Nigga, What? You blaming the fans for a nigga getting up on stage and choking? That's not media. That's not being a block. Like, that's just pure stupidity. Like, what is that? Like, the type of stuff that that y'all niggas be doing sometime, it, 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 it eventually it make niggas question y'all character. You understand? And I say this as a person who, you know, at the very beginning was supporting y'all niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like, whenever y'all needed an interview, whether it was from me, whether it was a trap artist, whoever, when niggas had to drive out to Long Island and all that, like, it was cool. Like, you understand? Niggas hit me. Yo, need an interview with such and such. I hate niggas made it happen. You understand? Not trying to, you know, take credit or nothing, but when niggas need something from me, I'm one of the people who niggas are going to get it. You understand? No questions asked. Oh, y'all need an interview from Jim's? Oh, y'all need an interview from, uh, you know, whoever else from the trap was popping and y'all wanted an interview from? Made it happen. You understand? So, you know, take this, like, this is the thing, man. When it comes to this blogging shit, we all know who the people that's in power take seriously. You understand? We all know... It don't matter how many views you get. It's only certain people that's going to get certain phone calls. It's only I could be doing my blogs, getting my 200 views, 
And guess what? A person from a league that's very high up that done watch my blog because niggas respect what I got to say is going to make a phone call. Yo, man, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't even need to go into it. But, so, with this blog, take it from somebody who y'all niggas know is not talking out their ass. You understand? Somebody who's talking with a little bit of sense. Hip-hop is real. Y'all niggas be wilding. Y'all be wilding. Y'all be doing a little too much. And it's getting to a point now where y'all character is really starting to be in question. You understand? Like, a lot of this stuff, y'all need, need to stop doing this shit, man. And when I say need to stop doing it, I'm not talking about just stop, you know. Stop doing the sucker shit that y'all doing. That man hit y'all and asked y'all not to put something out. Why did y'all put it out anyway? And I'm speaking as a nigga who do camera work like, yo, y'all wasn't even asked to record that. That was regular event over, niggas outside, turned up, whatever, whatever, whether it's at the hotel or outside the venue. I'm pretty sure y'all wasn't asked to record. Were they aware that the camera was on? Of course. But y'all also know that these guys were drunk and that's not footage that niggas needed. It's not. It's not footage that niggas needed. Y'all didn't need that footage. So the second that that man asked y'all to put it out, the first thing you should have did was go in your camera, click the delete button, and trash it. Empty recycle bin and all that. Like, you know what time it is. That's what should have happened. But, you know, the fact that that was something that, that came out anyway, that's bad, man. That's bad. That's bad. And, you know, y'all don't get it twisted. Y'all niggas put out some great content. Y'all have some dope interviews. Y'all niggas really, like, been on y'all grind, y'all outside. Cool. But the, the decisions that y'all make when it comes to certain interviews, when it comes to the footage y'all put out, some of the titles y'all put on y'all shit, some of the stuff y'all be posting on social media as a respected media platform in Battle Rap, like, y'all are so biased for chess that it's like... I be like, damn, like, I wonder how the battlers feel about that. That they don't get that same su support. Like, the fact that y'all will put out a statement like that, like, damn, it's the fans' fault, chest choke. I mean, shit, when the new guys are coming up, are, are y'all doing the same for them? Like, are y'all doing the same for, for everybody else on the URL platform that or whatever other platforms y'all support? Are y'all making that same excuse for them? Because if not, it shows a certain level of biasness. Y'all got to chill with that shit, man. Y'all got to chill with that shit. And I feel like this, man. Ain't nobody else going to tell y'all this. I'm going to tell y'all. You understand? Because this is what I've been observing with my own two eyes from, you know, what's been going on with y'all. And don't get it twisted. I don't have no beef with y'all. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, to be honest, I don't really fuck with y'all to be, like, to be honest. You understand what I'm saying? And that's because the, these constant character flaws. Like, it's other stuff. That's, you know, um, more prevalent that, you know, it's, it's not, it ain't even worth blogging about. But it's just, you know, just seeing how niggas move and stuff like that. Like, you can see how niggas move with you and be like, all right, I don't fuck with these niggas. But it's like, if everybody else fuck with these niggas, then it is what it is. You know, shout to them, respect, whatever. But when some of the stuff that y'all did with us, y'all are doing it to, to other people. And that's, that's, that's fucked up. That's Anwar, like, he would champion. Y'all at all of these events together, like, y'all, we all know that URL has a certain quote-unquote umbrella. You understand? A cer certain people who have certain allegiances, it is what it is. Like, can't really duck that at this point. You understand? It just is what it is. You got all these dudes who, you know, they go to all events together, they be chilling together, drinking together, going out to whatever strip clubs and bars and restaurants and stuff like that after like you know that's what y'all do so when somebody that's in that circle along with y'all ask y'all not to put certain footage out y'all should have respect for that y'all should especially have respect for that like listen I, I wouldn't respect it if y'all do it to anybody but niggas who, who run in the same circle with y'all that's some that's some different type of shit, man. That that's really like some snake shit. 
You understand? Like they always say, man, it be your own niggas that do it to you. You understand me? But, you know, I, I had to come speak on this because that, I, I really felt bad for Anwar after that. You understand? Like, everybody can say what they want. I see what people be saying about him. There's a lot of people that I guess don't like the dude for whatever reason, feel like he came out of nowhere. Whatever y'all feel about him. Like, that ain't, I don't carry those feelings. Like, he, you know, he never did nothing to me. You know, he, he has his opinions. No matter how outlandish that they be, my only concern with Anwar is stop always buttoning up that damn top button so damn tight. You understand? But, you know, aside from that, man, I don't got no... Y'all know with battle rap anyway, I don't got no picks. You understand? I don't have no no biases or allegiances and this shit. Like, I just come and speak on stuff from a moral standpoint. And that right there, that said a lot to me. It's going to be people in the comments that feel like, you know, because it's Anwar, you know, it it, it it's just like, who gives a fuck? But no, I, I really didn't respect that. I watched Anwar's vlog and I was like, nah. If it's a situation where niggas got footage that you don't need that that wasn't an interview that was just roasting back and forth like you understand and whatever else was surrounding it that's all that was you could have tucked that you could have deleted that you could have threw that away like you ain't need that but the fact that dude asked you specifically not to put it out and then it got put out anyway i felt that was some sucking shit you feel what i'm saying so you know um let me know what y'all think in the comments man i thought it was some bullshit you understand um hip-hop is real y'all gotta tighten up man Y'all got to tighten up. You feel me? Like, y'all may have a big platform. Y'all got a lot of people that respect y'all and shit like that. But at the same time, y'all make some decisions that niggas got to question, man. You understand what I'm saying? It's really, it's starting to bleed into character now. Like, people like me who look at character, it's making me kind of look at y'all funny. Like, are, are y'all here to do good media and be stand-up individuals? Or are y'all here to just be on some clickbaiting, view-chasing bullshit like you willing to throw and while under the bus for what was that seventeen thousand views come on man nah i don't respect that man i don't respect that you feel me so that's just my thoughts on that let me know what y'all think in the comments man no mercy trap new york shit no mercy tv.com make sure y'all tune into the trap new york we got a bunch of dope interviews dropping this week we got easy to block captain we got fawns we got dot Dot, you're like, what that mean? We got his welcome home interview. We got uh, Yoshi G, had a dope interview with her. So, yeah, make sure you head over to the Trap Media channel. Tune in to Truth Be Told. We got the playlist up with all the episodes. We done had Jack Boy, J400, and all these other guys. So, yeah, make sure y'all tune into the interviews, man. We And we keep it honest. Like, as honest as I am on this platform, just imagine what me and Pace are doing over there. Y'all know we don't bite our tongues for nobody in this culture. It's love. It's respect to everybody, but at the same time, when we feel like something wrong, we're going to address it. And that's just the type of men we are, man. Either you're going to love us for it or you're going to hate us for it. Either way, salute to everybody, man. I'm out of here.